Okay, so um, for science, we're making um, anemometers and wind vanes. Anemometers are used to measure um, how fast the wind is blowing, and wind vanes are used to um, see which way, the, which direction the wind is blowing. So we made a wind vane, and um, we did north, south, east, west on it. So whichever way it'll tilt is the direction in which the wind is blowing. And um, Ari, I can tell you about what we used to make it. So we used a plate, we used clay, we used popsicle sticks, a straw, a cup, a rubber band. Expo marker that counts to write the um, directions on it. And yeah, to assemble it, we pretty much put the clay at the bottom, stuck the popsicle sticks there and taped it and lay, put the cup on top with the straw so it would like tilt on the direction of the wind. Yeah, and um, it took a while to make. Um, we changed our design plan a lot, but overall I think it turned out really good. skies, high 71 degrees, and winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. I'm here with Ms. Poza and Ms. Burke. Tell us about uh, mental health in our school. So May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so we are going to be doing some really fun activities for everyone. A couple of things is next week, during your lunches, we're going to do our grateful wall, so you'll have an opportunity to fill out a star for what you are grateful for. And then also, in every Wednesday, we're going to start Wellness Wednesdays, and we're going to be down in the media center where you can play board games, there'll be coloring, we'll be doing some crafts, like some glitter jars and things like that some Wednesdays. So it'll be fun. Come check it out. And then on Mondays, we're going to ask you guys to wear green every Monday for the month of May. Um, to support mental health awareness. Um, your third hour teachers are going to try to keep track of every student who's wearing green in their third hour because by the end of the month you guys are going to get a free day and your teacher is going to get a free hour, well a free hour not a free day, um, to just kind of hang out not have to do school and take a little mental break. So be sure to wear your green on Mondays. Um, and then check out our self-care calendar. We're also going to post it to Schoology for some ideas of things you can do to, you know, try and take care of yourselves this month. Ms. Jax, Ms. Jax um, what's an autistic advocate? My favorite autistic advocate and author is Ido Kedar, I-D-O-K-E-D-A-R. You can read his book, Ido and Autism Land. He is actually also a nonverbal or non-speaking middle schooler, just like all of you guys. Um, and he once he, was learned, once he learned how to spell out all of his thoughts, first thing he did was write an entire book. It's a series of short essays that account, um, that describe his experience with autism, with schools, with therapy, with other people. Um, and it's honestly the best book I've ever read. It is what really has formed me into the teacher I am today. Um, I think everybody here would love it. It's the longest essays in there, about two pages long. So lots of cool stuff to learn. And you might get to learn a little bit about what our students might be dealing with inside their heads. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Is that good? Right, with Ms. Leon. Ms. Leon, what are you doing in class today? Well, we're starting to work gear up for uh, Civil War Day, which is uh, going to be on May 16th. Kids are starting to make their uh, scrapbooks to be prepared for that. And little, if you haven't gone to school pay, please do so. It's coming up really quick. And then we're uh, working on our uh, Senate hearing. People are writing their testimonies or in their their uh, newspaper articles. So they've been pretty busy doing some writing along with chapter reviews. They're very busy, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What am I here with? Hugh Myra Huda. Gold or silver? Gold, because it's the color of me and your wedding ring. I know. Who am I here with? Gargi. Tiffany. Ella. Gold or silver? Silver. Gold. Gold. Why? It suits me better. It just looks better on my skin. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. Do you guys whine in Mr. Leon's class? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yes, 110,000% times yes. Me too! I'm here with Mr. Sam. Mr. Sam, tell us about um, the award you were nominated for. It was for uh, best... Uh, 
It was the best support stuff, Paulo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>